Ezekiel 32, look at verse 7. It says, And when I shall put thee out, I will cover the heaven and make the stars there are dark, and I will cover the sun with a cloud. Amen. And the moon shall not give her light. Can you cover the sun with a cloud if it's outside a firmament? If it's outside in space? No. And can you cover, and uh, we'll go through some verses that prove covering means actually touching. Because if you have a giant sun, giant sun, right? And let's say the earth is a ball. It's just coming and hitting this whole portion, right? If you have a cloud in, in one area, is that going to just cover all the sun sunlight? No, because if you go far enough away, you'll have some more light. He's, he just said he's going to cover the sun with a cloud. That must mean they're close to each other. That must mean that clouds can touch the sun. Let's look at a couple of verses that prove that covering means to touch. Exodus 24. Exodus 24, let's look at verse 15. It says in verse 15, And Moses went up on the mount, and a cloud covered the mount. Yeah. Covered it, right? That's important. It means that it literally was over the mount, because if you read the rest of the chapter, you see that there was, they could see that cloud. It was there. It was covering the mount, because the glory of God was going to come down. That's good. Yeah. The cloud covered the mount. 